Hey, welcome back everyone for some more Super Mario 3D World for the Wii U. And now it's time to venture on into P Puff Prod Peaks. Try saying that five times fast. <laughs> but yeah, the main gimmick in this level are these touchstones right here, which... This is one of those levels in which I really have to commend the game designers for utilizing the gamepad. Because not only do you have to touch the touchstones here, but there's also fan platforms in which you can access them by blowing into your gamepad. So this is one of those levels in which... For those of you that wanted more use out of your gamepad, well, here you go. And, uh, as you can see, there's Galoombas and Piranha Plants here, too. Now, I'm just gonna show where the stamp and the green stars are. And the, the, the stamp, I should say, is in this room. Just take care of the Galoombas here, which shouldn't be that much of a problem. And But yeah, just simply touch the gamepad to where the touchstones are and to activate them. And as you can see there... Peach got the green star, I mean the stamp rather, so... And then up ahead is the first green star, I kind of got ahead of myself here, but... I know a lot of people like to use the cat suit in order to get this first green star, but I'm gonna show off right here that you can get it without having to use the cat suit. It's a little bit tricky, but it's not too bad. And you see Peach is doing her wall jumping there, but... If you're pretty used to the controls of this game, it really shouldn't be all that hard getting that first green star. As you can see right there, I managed to get it, and I'm not really what you call the best video game player out there, so... And these are those fan platforms I'm talking about. As you can see there, the prompt's telling you to blow. But first, I'm gonna grab the, the, all the coins here, and then... I, I notice that even if you don't blow into it, like, if you talk, like, really loud into the gamepad, sometimes it act activates these platforms, too. And, of course, blowing, uh, blows all the mini Goombas away, which is what I want, and I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone here. There's some invincible, uh, invisible blocks there, off and to the left there, which... Has a firefly room in case you need one, but I decided not to get it. Just ju jump in this cloud here, and as you might have guessed, this is where the second green star is, and it's much like the cloud bonus level that was in uh, Mount Beanpool. Yeah, well, not only does the invincibility work well against these Galoombas, but I think if you use the dash block and you run into the Galoomba, it takes care of the problem too. As you can see, there's a there's an invisible block there for an extra life. I don't think there's anything real special here. And then up ahead, you get the third green star. Now, in order to get this, don't touch the last platform. Instead, blow into the game pad and let the fan platform reach you. And that way, you can just step on it to get that. Oh no, no, I think this is a pretty fun level. I like the look of it, I like the music, it's very nice and soothing. The enemy spam here, if you want to call it that, isn't too bad, and... As you can see here, got some more touchstones here, and then... Right there is the flagpole, so... Just gotta do this. And then with Peach, you can just use a floating attack to reach the top of the flagpole. Or if you're another character, you can just use the cat suit. Either way, you can reach the top of the flagpole and, uh... But yeah, there's Puff Parade Peaks for you. And you see Peach in her victory pose right there. And I got a clear score for this level too, which is awesome, so... But yeah, an overall pretty fun level, so... Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. And I'll be seeing you guys again next time.